Welcome, everybody. It is Tuesday, February 6th. I'm John Zadar, and you're watching On Top and Hot, where we like to talk about hot penny stocks. We're talking about stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market. Now, of course, we're looking for those that have potential to make us money. Where do we find those? Well, I like to find a hot chart first. When I find a chart that has heat, then I go looking for a hot piece of information through the press releases or the filings. When I get a hot piece of news and match it to my hot chart, I've got myself a hot penny stock. And these are the sort of stocks I like to share with you. And I got one for you right now. This is WorkSport, ticker WKSP, had a good day. She exploded in volume today because she had a hot piece of news come out. They just did their unaudited financials and they gave us a peekaboo. And to say they were good would be an understatement. <laughs> they were great. So WorkSport finished the day at $1.26 and just a little over 1.5% gains. She is on the NASDAQ, which comes with benefits. You don't have to pay to get in and pay to get out like you do on the OTC. Plus, you get to trade this pre-market, after-market. You never get to do that on the OTC. And let's face it, you're playing in a better playground. <laughs> the major exchanges have a lot more money and a lot more volume than the OTC. So as I said, these hot penny stocks on the major exchanges, they come with benefits. So what is WorkSport all about? Well, we've got a nice description down here if you want to read all that, but I think the website does it a little bit better for us. So we've jumped on over here to the company's website, WorkSport.com. And they show us their products. Their primary product are these bed covers for pickup trucks. And they've got a variety of styles. They've got the trifold soft cover, the trifold hard cover, and then they've got the trifold solar cover, which is a great concept here. You're gathering energy as you're driving anywhere and everywhere. But of course, if you're doing that, you got to have somewhere to put that power. So the company does sell their own power bank. Now, if you think about it, you could take this solar powered bed cover and put it on an electric pickup and most likely be able to charge that truck while it was actually driving. Great concept, right? Well, I'm not the only one who thought about it. The company's actually working on that right now. The other division that the company's got, and I haven't got a picture for it here, is their heat pump. We're talking about heating and cooling your home. We used to have heat pumps here decades ago in Michigan. They would use geothermal heat pumps. They would put a rod down in the ground, maybe eight feet, that's all. And the ground is a constant 56 degrees all year long. So when it was winter time and 10 degrees here, the difference between 10 degrees and 56 could be used to heat the house. And when it was 90 degrees outside, the difference between 90 in the ground could be used to cool the house. They seemed efficient to me, but I haven't seen them in a very long time. Now, I don't know a lot about their heat pump. I don't know if they're using the earth, water, or air. You can use any of those. I do know that they put it through a rigorous test and it passed with flying colors. There seems to be a market for it, and they are now creating a supply chain for that. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Jumped about 11 times going from about 72,000 shares up to 887,000 shares today. Share structure for work sport. Not bad. Outstanding share count is under 20 million. I don't know what the float is, but if it was 20 million, I'd be happy. It could be up to this, but it could be considerably less as well. Market cap for the company, we're at about 24 million. Checking out the financials. Now this is where the game is being played. Looking at the last four years, it doesn't look very inspiring. Four years ago, she was at roughly $2 million. We know that's millions because they tell us that we've got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on these charts. Well, over the last four years, she's been falling. And in 2022, she hit a low of $116,000. Thankfully, getting to take home $59,000 in profit. Now let's look at her quarterlies. Completely different. Over a year ago, we had our low of $18,000. One year ago, we were at $39,000. Now, at the end of September 2023, we were at $458,000, and she got to keep $89,000. Now, they came out with news for their fourth quarter reports. So let's take a look at that news. 
Now remember, they just did $458,000 in the last quarter. This quarter, they are reporting $840,000. So that's virtually double the last quarter. But look at the year over year. I just showed it to you. It was $39,000. And we are at $840,000. That is over a 2,000% increase. And that last quarter was no chump change either. That jumped 2,400% from the quarter before that. Bottom line here, folks, their revenues are growing fast and strong. Taking a look at the disclosures for the company, we've got a bunch of 8Ks here, but every single 8K was filed because they put out a piece of news. So if you can't find the news, jump inside the 8K. They actually put the press release inside there as well. So let's take a look at that news. So we've got lots of news here and I've only gone back to January 11th for all of this. Now we're not going to dive into any of this, but you can see what is going on. They are increasing business. They are increasing manufacturing. They are increasing distributorships. Back here, they tell us the company announces their second soft cover factory and increases production in Buffalo, New York. On the 18th of January, the company announces Solus solar truck cover will be available for Ford, Ram, and GM. Even the big boys want these. On the 24th of uh, January, the company unveils Al3 Pro Hard Folding Tone New Cover, a game changer in pickup truck accessories. I have no clue why this one's so special. So there's a little bit of due diligence for you. On the 29th of January, the company announces expansion of business to business dealer network and upcoming availability on Amazon, eBay, and Walmart marketplaces. I did dive into this one. They're making a deal so that they can now distribute their products into Canada as well. That's opening up a huge door of business. The very last day of January, the company's subsidiary, Terravis Energy, starts to build the heat pump supply chain. It is hot, or is it cold? I guess it depends on what season it is. And then the very last piece of news, company reporting 2,000% increase in their Q4 revenues compared to 2023. Hot, folks. That is a huge jump, doubling from last quarter. 2,000% increase year over year, and it's the second quarterly report to do over 2,000% increase. That sounds hot to me, and the chart looks hot to me as well. Let's go take a look at it. So let's chart work sport on my free trading platform, Think or Swim, also known as TOS. So we're looking at WKSP on a six-month, four-hour view, and the bubbles we got here are 52-week highs and 52-week lows. Our high hit in July, that was $4.33, and right off of that high bubble, she fell instantly underneath the 200. Bounced up to it, trying to hang on without any success, fell down to a low of a buck 30 here in October, and for the last few months, she has just been bouncing off of this support. She did come underneath it a few times, including yesterday, when she hit her 52-week low of $1.18. Bouncing off of that low, she hit a high today of $1.55, falling back to $1.22. Now, she did bounce off of her 200 haul, which she was sitting on solid, went through the 200-day SMA, and fell back to her 200 haul. She is between the two strongest SMAs right now, looking antsy, looking like she wants to get the heck out of this pen. Lots of volume today compared to the days before, but our oscillators are in sad shape. Every single one of them is falling, and our RSI is down there at 36. Best thing I can say about this chart is our 200-day SMA is virtually flat, and that is a perfect breakout opportunity. Jumping on down to our 20-day, one-hour view. So we're on a downtrend here. We can see our 200 is going flat right now. Yes, by tomorrow, she should probably be flat. She got on top of her 200 here, fell down to that low, maybe taking a crouch before the pounce. You got a low bubble to a high bubble here. I look for that. When you see something going steady and then all of a sudden take this weird drop for no reason, it could be a crouch. 
like a cat does before it pounces up higher. You got to crouch low if you want to jump high. And that's exactly what happened here. So she showed a lot of enthusiasm, breaking the 200 way the heck up here. Then coming back down and even bouncing a second time. Then falling back, and right now she does look weak. I will agree with that. Looks like she's coming down to this mini support we've got here of $1.20. Our oscillators, still looking sad, folks. All of them are pushing down right now, and our RSI is still down there at 38. Take a look at our five-day, five-minute. Downtrend. It is. Goodness. So five, six days ago, she was over the 200. Took a few days, inching her way under that 200. Once she got under the 200 and the 50, she dropped and plopped down to that low of $1.18. Coming back up, and you can see where she bounced on this mini support that we've got right here. She got up underneath the 200. She did break it, but she can't get over it and stay there. Still falling. Now she's underneath all the SMAs coming down, and I'm pretty positive that she's going to hit this at least. She could come lower, but I really don't think she's going to make a new 52-week low. Now with that news, I mean, come on. Her revenues have virtually doubled over last quarter. And compared to last year, over a 2,000% increase, which is the second quarterly report to have over 2,000% increase. So it really looks good to me. What do we weigh these companies out with? Money. That's what it's really all about. It isn't about the share count. It isn't about the management. Those are important, but how much money are you making? That's the bottom line with any company. And this company is putting it into high gear right now. So I like WKSP, but it needs more due diligence. And I'm sure when you do your research, you're going to find information to sell you on this company more than just what I've shared with you. So remember folks, do your due diligence and feel secure about your investments. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.